uh, let's try this thing out. So, uh, Surviving the Aftermath, Aftermath by Paradox, who's making this thing, so... Or who's publishing this thing, anyway. Um, I, I got the key from them. I don't usually get keys from Paradox, so uh, this is kind of good times. Hey, Gorkum, how's it going? How's it going? Any risks in the game? Yes, yes. And that's kind of one thing I kind of like. I kind of like is uh, there's a lot of these um, colony builder things that like you either get super hard or you get super easy. This one you kind of go both ways. You can uh, there you can you sort of as you as we start this off, you'll see here in a moment. We're gonna go select our uh, just how terrible the world is, whether it's it's just all overgrown and green or if it's all desolate and terrible. How many how many times meteors and other things fall from the sky? So, uh, yeah, Tom, you're very early. Very early. So. Um, alright. So, let's try it out. Fallout City Builder. Yes. And you know what? There's, a, there's actually a setting where you can start out kind of that way. Let's go see what it's all about, though. Let's try it out. So, let's do a new game here. And, uh, no, you know, I'm not going to go with the tutorial. I kind of know what I'm doing here. I, uh, I watched, uh, I watched Quill play. And so I kind of get an idea of what's happening. And I've played the City Builder before. I know what's going on. So, as we go through this, we've got several different tabs to go through and each of these tabs is sort of building our world and, de and defining how difficult it is and what kind of problems are going to be coming across here uh, so in the environment how there are there are very few who remember the spark that started it all chain reaction of global catastrophe wiped out most of the planet's population and made purple turn against each other those who are left must now survive the aftermath in this post-apocalyptic world so lots of bad things happened uh, we got our Geiger counters out we have three choices as you, as you choose a, the choices, you can see it changes the difficulty percentage. It's going to rise as we choose everything here. So we can go with cities that are demolished, but nature is prevailed, which means that there's a lot of fertile soil out there. Temperature is okay. We've got the world is desolate, unforgiving. Temperature, still okay. Uh, there's, there's a lot less fertile soil, however. Or it's a barren wasteland where there's not a lot of good soil. It's hot. It's dry. We're living on Tatooine. I think I'm going to go with... I'm probably going to pick, like, really very... Difficult is it off? Oh, it is off. Why is it off? Uh, let me just do this. Better? Yeah, better now. Okay. Um, so um, I'm gonna go with with easy now because because as as we go down the line, I'm gonna be picking things that are much more uh, difficult. So let's take it a little bit nicer here. Plus, it's a lot prettier when you get the fertile soil and all that. So cities are demolished, but nature prevailed. It's very nice. Uh, in the wake of the events, resulting extreme weather conditions and other calamities became a normal part of everyday life. So, worse is past. The occasional catastrophe, nothing too bad. Not a lot of contamination. We've got common catastrophes, or it feels like the apocalypse never ended. We've got frequent catastrophes. Contamination level is really bad. Um, I kind of want to try that one just because I, I want to see the catastrophes. Um, I'm sure we'll see him anyway in the common catastrophes. Um, yeah, let's go with the middle of the road, and then we'll, we'll let's see, what's, um, I think we'll go, yeah, common, common catastrophes I think is good. But yeah, cursor's good now. Uh, everyone has their breaking point. Eventually, it is not enough to just survive through the day. People need hope, and there finally is some. It has been a long road to get here, but that which has, was before can now be left in the past. So, we can choose our starting point point or starting uh people we can either go with like a fallout shelter we we start out the fallout shelter is collapsed we have we emerge from this shelter with plenty of resources you know we're ready to go um no more fallout shelter we have to still build our city but you know what i mean uh we can also go trusted family uh, the trusted car finally broke down hashtag van life which i'm kind of leaning towards or after walking for ages this is where we stop where we just start out with backpacks and boxes and not a lot of stuff and that's where we begin the thing um <clears throat> So, yeah, that's what I was talking about before. You, you can make it super difficult if you want. You can go with the easy way in the apocalypse, in the post-apocalyptic post world if you want. So, kind of nice. I'm going to go in the middle of the road because I want a van. And I believe uh, that you, as whichever one you pick, like if you start with a bunker, you have a bunker at your base. Van life. I'm hoping we have a van. I really I want to see a van. People around you are the thin red line, which keeps the group alive. They are far from perfect, but everyone has made it this far. You can trust them with your life, and they trust you with yours. Who do we start with? We start with eight adults, four kids, a band of survivors able to care for themselves, seven adults, three kids, or a group of ambiguous misfits. Six adults, two kids. I figure less kids, probably a little bit easier in the apocalypse, so let's go with that. We're at 44% difficulty. These survivors, it goes 100% if you go, like, bottom all the way across. These survivors will chase challenges, both large and small, some caused by bandits, others because of their own actions. There are also other societies in the world that won't hesitate to strike back if you look at them the wrong way. So we can go with easy mode, exploring, no problem. Um, occasional bandit, 
We go with middle of the road, or insurmountable challenges face you with the apocalypse, right? Plenty of hardened bandits, yeah, obviously. Life is unfair, but sometimes it feels like you are not alone. Whether it's an invisible guardian or just pure fate, but it sure feels like someone is watching over us. Uh, this is, uh, I'm not, I think this is just sort of, just sort of generic, um, like, I'll put this in, in room world terms. This is the, um, Randy Random versus, versus Phoebe versus, you know, you know what I mean? Um, so we can go with the lenient and helpful, the challenging but fair, or the no restrictions. Anything is possible. Suffering or success. Yeah. And how, how do we look? Um, well, well, we gotta go with, uh, with, with, uh, does it have to be a red banner? Oh, yeah, here we go. Um... There's the platypus. The, uh, ooh, the, ooh, the fish. The fish. I kind of like ooh, the bear. He's nice. Uh, we're a peaceful people. I need a black flag. Um, let's go with, uh, the red, the, um, let's go with the fish. The blue fish people is who we are. Oh, you know there's going to be, like, a lot of DLCs here. <laughs> Alright, now my colony name. Plea Wood. No, we're gonna go with, uh, we're gonna go with, uh, well, Nookstone is the name of our place. And the colony motto. Oh, man, you know, I was, I saw this, I was thinking I need to come up with something clever for this. Um, oh, Fishtopia would be perfect, wouldn't it? We gotta fix that. Uh, what's our colony motto? What's our colony motto? Um, how do we round about this? Question mark. Okay. And, uh, yeah, 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 Fishtopia is perfect. Fishtopia. Okay. Okay. Let's go. 72% difficulty, which is quite high. Uh, tutorial's off. We can see all the stuff we just picked. A bunch of weirdos, criminals, and oddballs in our, in our society. Excellent. Gatekeeper is chaotic. That's what I like. Welcome to the apocalypse. Our fish are dead. <laughs> Nothing says peace like killing all your rivals and enemies. Usher in that peace. That's right, Randall. Uh, OJ Pete. Welcome, Randall. The platypus is a uh, is something you get if uh, you're an early buyer. I guess if you buy any early access, you get that. This I guess was just announced. Was this just announced yesterday? At uh, we have the PDX Con going on right now. Right, let's pause and do a bit of a look, see and see what's going on here. All right, so you can see my world. We are the folks here at... That's not a van, that's a truck. Excuse me, game, that's a truck. I wonder if it... Does it change? Anyone try this with... Um, is it looking a little choppy? Let me know if it's, it's looking a little funny, and I'll adjust the uh, some of the settings, because it looks kind of bad on my side, but I can never really tell. It looks really choppy. Just let me know. Um, so we've got truck. Slightly choppy. Okay, let me, let me adjust some things then. Uh, I did crank some things up. They were set at a little bit lower, and I think maybe we should change... That was down low. Change the the um, texture quality. Probably is the thing we need to adjust. Maybe. Okay. Let's reload the game for some of those things. We'll see if that is that a little better. Oh, I have shadows. Shadows were up. Let me check that. It's fine on my side, but um, uh, OBS does not like some things. Shadow quality, there we go. Put that on low. That'll probably fix some things. This is going to get hairier whenever we get to uh, um, more buildings. Waiting for it to pull up here. A little better, a little better. Okay, okay, good. Alright, so here we are. Uh, we've got our, uh, our, our clan is hanging out here. Of oddballs and folks by the truck. We have a, a stockpile zone which carries all of our junk. We've got a, a food storage right there. And a broken truck with some junk in it. Clothes, potatoes, that kind of stuff. Um, we can come in here. We've got all kinds of different materials up top. Happiness. Well, we're homeless, so we're a little cranky about that. Uh, we have our six colonists. Uh, you can see we got eight total people. But two of them are kids. Six of them are carriers. Carriers are your haulers, right? They're the ones that... Uh, haul things around, obviously. Uh, we've got some food. We have lack of water. We have power. We'll, we'll eventually get planks, concrete, plastics. We'll find those all out in the world. You can see there's some piles. There's some berries over there. There's some planks over this way. We'll have uh, some nuclear waste out in the world as well. Um, we've got metals, fibers, parts, 
all kinds of other stuff that we can eventually get. Fun box. Mm -hmm. uh, tools, clothes, medicine, and science points, which we'll find later on. Um, I suppose we start this thing. Let's let them go do their thing. Let's start with... Oh, oh, by the way, we also have a gate. Not yet, though. It's just, uh, just a bunch of rubble at the moment. And do something like that. Come over here. Uh, is it still a little choppy? I can turn... Yeah, that's a lot of draw distance. We probably don't need... But let's go and... First thing I suppose we can do... We need to get some houses, right? Uh, let's throw in... Let's throw in emergency shelter. You know what? The first time I saw this... Uh, that's actually the first thing that came to mind was... Uh, was how I rotate this? There we go. Uh, was Frostpunk. So you can kind of see around here, we've got some patches. Well, this, uh, well, maybe not. Sometimes there's some desolate patches that we cannot. This nuclear fallout over here, so we can't build over this way. But let's throw some houses over in uh, this direction. Uh, over here, fine. Right there. We can also put roads down. Let's go here to the roads. Put some, uh, some dirt roads. Like that. And we'll go with something like over here. Get out of the way. And we'll do something like uh, like up this way. And then, there we go. First roundabout done. Perfect. Don't build on the fertile land. we got a lot of fertile land, don't we? Oh, this is this the fertile stuff and this is the not fertile stuff? So yeah, we probably shouldn't build over there. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Um, so we got to go out and get some supplies. People are over here building things. Eventually we get people that need to like be assigned jobs or whatever. But uh, it's fine now. Let me go and do a dirt road to our path, you know, this is where we're heading, so something like that. Just to, just to, you know, gotta be some sort of, somewhat civilized here. Everyone's kind of crying about the lack of housing. They'll be alright. Yeah, the gate, I'm a little... You'll see whenever we get this gate built, it's a little bit strange. Um, because, uh, hey, Omo. It's, uh, it's not quite a full gate. I guess we do have a fence. I didn't really notice that before. We do have a little fence in there. So I guess that'll, that, I mean, it's not going to stop anybody, really, but it's something. Maybe the pollution will stop something. Like a waste. All right, shelter is done. People now have houses. Excellent. Uh, let's go and get some new things made. We got houses done. We can do a new food storage, a new warehouse. We'll carry different things. Uh, we need to get some sort of food production. We are Fishtopia, so obviously a fish house would probably be best. This little tiny lake, I guess it's going to be it. Is there anything else around here? There's some way out that way. There's, uh, ooh, a lot of water over there. Ooh, this is pretty. Um. <laughs> Needs to be on the shore. Yeah, yeah. So we can just throw this thing like right in uh, water shortage. Yeah, we'll get that under control in a second. Like right over there. Right there. I hope there's fish in that lake. Let's get a road heading up that way. Oh, wrong one. A lot of this just first feelings is uh is very banished tropical feeling. Oh, oh, I got kids. I forgot we have kids. Hey, Mason. You want to live somewhere? You're kind of... You're, you're, <laughs> the two homeless people are the two kids. <laughs> you want to live somewhere? You got to work for it. All right, let's throw another shelter in. I suppose we can stay away from this fertile soil a bit. Um, and put it maybe over here where it's not so fertile. Um, where are the kids going to live? Over, over, here where, over here in the scraps. Like that. We can also make, as you can see this, we have tents as well, which holds two people. Uh, it's a little bit nicer, I suppose, but, you know, I mean, they're both, they're both scraps, so. Get some little beasts to work. Yeah, look at them just standing around, eating my food, doing nothing. Oh, work areas for storage. Right, right, right. Okay, so this is my, uh, my, my work area. We can move this onto certain spots for things like concrete and wood planks and all that kind of stuff. So let's go find a good spot for this to get its work done. Probably as, as, um, we can make this control. Yeah, like that, and just say, you know what, anywhere in this zone, you go grab it. Can you concrete around here? Right there. There's some concrete there. We got uh, plastic trash, concrete, concrete, planks, and then the food place is going to be the same same way. We want it to work where the berries are. There's two berries right here, so we'll go ahead and grab them. Oh, here we go. Let's just do that. Right in the middle of the waste, grab those berries. Look, we got berries right next to the waste. Mmm. Tasty. Okay, water shortage. Yeah, let's deal with that. So we want to go and get ourselves a well and stash it. I think right in here in the center of town just seems like a place to be. We stash it right there in the middle. Um, I think maybe we'll put it right here on the end. Okay. So this is uh, lacking some things. We need one more concrete thing, and we get the planks. So we need one more hunk of concrete. 
to get that done. But my workers, my my uh, my my five carriers should be out doing what they need to be doing. We have one worker in here. Is he in here? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Who are you? Whoops. Sorry. Huh? Eleanor is my fisherman. Fisherwoman. We are fish in the water. Good. Good. She's got some happiness. Um, I noticed that... Here it is. So she got some traits. A nasty fall left the spine damaged and movement stiff. Well, that's not good. Dives headlong into everything without thinking first. Production speed... Why? That should be... That should be plus. Can I change your name? No. So we gotta get that well done. I suppose we should prioritize somehow the concrete. He's working on the planks right now. I mean, they'll get it. They'll get it. Not a problem. Yeah, mutant berries. That's how we get... That's how we become superheroes. So let's go crank this thing up and, and let them do their thing. So, by the way, this isn't the whole game. You may be thinking, oh, another colony builder. Big whoop. Well, there's a world map. And out here in the world, we can go and, and send scouts out to go find things. For instance, there's a farm nearby, which got some jerky. There's also raiding camps. I mean, there's a, it's a pretty big world. This is, is It's a pretty massive world that we can eventually go into. Yeah, you know, extra tentacles every once in a while would be nice to have. Helps with the fishing. So we'll get some things hauled over here. I think we may get that. Uh, there we go, you got it. So I'm waiting for that water, which we probably need to get that well done quickly, please. Oh yeah, priority. There we go. And that'll get us some water for everybody. You can see we got kind of a negative, kind of a problem with water. We can also get water towers to store some water if we need to. Food's okay right now. Um, we're good on everything else. Let's just get that done first before we go focus on something else, though. Our world thing feels like Frostpunk. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Hmm? Hey there, Avery. There's your well. What do you think of that? You have tools. You have a coat. You have clothing. Good. A new well going in. Excellent. Then get that road finished up there. Let's get some more food. We got fish here. We can go and get some sort of, um... We have a trapper to get animals. There are some animals I saw back there. There's one right there. Uh, we can get a field, however. We're going to get a couple of these. These need to go in some nice, good soil. Which would be like over this way. We want to have these... I guess we can stick up... We can just stash them back here, though, I think. A little bit of nuclear waste, but that's just... Just adds the flavor of the potatoes. Stash one in like there. And I want another one in. I want, uh, I want two of these. Right there. We'll get, our, uh, we'll get our road going back here. And we can select what these things grow. So you are going to, as soon as you're done, we'll have one do, like, corn. The other one can do potatoes. And they just grow at different speeds. Hello, Cooper. Okay, small field is done. I would like you to select... I'm going to have you be corn, because corn grows faster, but makes less. Potatoes uh, grow slower, but they make more. That should be between that and the and the fish would be plenty of people. We can't really do much more because we only have six working people. So the farms are each taking one, and then the, the fish shop is taking one as well. So food's under control. Look at those kids just standing around doing nothing. Hey, twids. Potatoes can grow mid-range radiation levels without issues anyway. Are you sure about that? <clears throat> Potatoes are pretty good about sucking up all the, uh, everything from, from the ground, be it pesticide, herbicide, whatever. They, uh, they're pretty good about, about, uh, well, taking them in. Let's go and put a, another road over here and do something like that. Go just to make it look a little nicer. Look at that, there's a little, uh, what are you, a fierce mouse. Oh, it's a very large mouse. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's let's next up on the, on the docket here. We can do some things to get some work done. We got a uh, a scrapper will scavenge metal and junk from the deposits to make uh, to make metal pieces for us. We have the recycler, which will take the, the plastic bits and make plastic bits. Sawmill, of course, make planks from the wood. Uh, and of course, before. So let's go get a recycler, I think, first. Probably the most important job. Um, we can see where the stuff is. We can always change where he actually does the work, though. But I think maybe we can focus him out this way. I don't want to put him too far away from the base, because, you know, we got to get... Uh, just those two. There's no way out there. 
Let's stash him over, um... What do you want? Something there. Can I squeeze you in here? I can put you right there. You know what? I think that's a good spot. Next to that, uh... Next to that funny bear. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? That was my well. Uh... <laughs> Okay. Okay. We're happy about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it okay? Uh, we can repair it for two concrete, but, you know, it's fine. It's... it's... <laughs> okay. Uh, we need a lot of wood for this. Let's, uh, let's get a road going here. So, by the way, I should probably mention this. This is, of course, early access. It's very early access. And, uh... Oh, is there lots of rag? Uh, rag? Lag? Let me, uh... Let me see if I can adjust. I don't know why it's so... Let me see if I can... Adjust something here. Um, is Vsync going to fix things? Maybe. At, uh, stick it at 60. Um, I'm going to change the view distance down to, uh, down to medium. Let's see if that does for us. Okay, how's that looking? Looking better on my screen. Did anyone? Did any? Did the? Uh, did the meteor show up in the? <laughs> A meteor, by the way, crashed into my 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 uh, my well. It did nothing. Better. Okay, I want it smooth. Oh, you know what's happening? Oh, I'm dropping frames. Hang on. I'm dropping frames for. No frames dropping. How are we doing? We're good. We're good now. We're good. We're good now. We're good now. Okay, one of my berry spots has been depleted over here, but we got plenty more that we can go grab. And uh, we've got. Oh, you need. What do you need? You have a worker. You need a spot. So I'm gonna move you and work you right there next to that next door there. So you should grab plastic bits from that trash and then turn it into proper uh, plastic and fiber for us. We can eventually clear that nuclear waste up in time. Four deposits depleted. Um, oh, it must be all berries. You're working those still over there. Grab that one real quick if we need it. You got the uh, two berries left over here. Okay. Uh, I haven't really messed with the tech at all yet. We we get science, science points by going to the world map and uh, boring methods. Boy, yeah, yeah. Um, but we haven't obviously gotten there yet. So we have two days. Okay. Health 84%. Good. New people should show us up here and uh, join us in time. What are you doing there? Are you still just standing around doing nothing? Looks like it. Why don't you get some work done, kid? So we get specialists along the way here. And these are the guys we'll send out into the world map to go do exploring and things. Can't do that just yet. We gotta get somebody to come do that. Oh, you know what we need? I completely forgot. Uh, build a gate. We gotta rebuild this gate. Um, it's gonna be over... Where's that one at? That's it. Um, this one. Rebuild our gate real quick. We'll need a few more materials to do it. But we'll get that started up real quick. Let me get my road head up, uh, heading in this way too. Like this and head in there. There we go. Another roundabout, eh? Challenge accepted. We've got almost a double roundabout here. This is one of those figure eight ones. Kids seem to be having a good time. There's a fierce mouse over there. Watch out, kids. Uh, we should have somebody over here grabbing... Someone should work this, right? Yep, that guy does. Mm -hmm. Thomas. And he's over there hacking away at the plastic trash. Standing in the, uh, <laughs> the waste. Uh, he'll haul it over here, and we'll get some more bits out of him. How's the fish doing? Looking. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Let's see, we've got... We have two carriers still. The carriers are going to be the ones that are going to be doing this job. Over here. Because no one actually works these spots. Uh, we could look into making maybe a... Um, are you done? No, there's plenty of things here. We can get a, like a warehouse to fix this place up. I wonder if that's what took the, the damage from the meteor. I don't know.
No more planks around. Uh, there's that one over there. We got more, though, right? Yeah, he's got a bit more. He's got some um, concrete. Concrete. No more planks, though, and uh, we do need some. So let me change your area here. I'd like you to grab that. Make sure you get those planks here, too. That's concrete. Oh, where are planks? Hang on. Let's go over here and get some planks. Oh, all kinds of stuff over here. Oh, even uh, a, a big uh, concrete pile. Nice. Okay, berries are looking a little bit... we got one more berry over this way before we have to go searching somewhere else. We do have a lot of food, though, so that's good. How are we looking here? Waiting for uh, things. We'll get that built eventually. And then I think I think that that unlocks like visitors and things like that. I think. And then we just sit back. <clears throat> it's very pretty, for sure. If I want to go in and look at building, see a tailor makes coats out of the fibers. Tool shop will, of course, make tools. We'll get those things as soon as we actually have people to work them. A medical tent might be actually a good idea before we get anywhere else. Uh, what do we need? We need six metals, 12. Of the, we need a lot of stuff. Let me wait till my gate's done, then we'll get one. We'll get one, we'll get one done then. You are. It seems that I can't. I want to. Uh, did it work? Yeah, it's working, right? Change is not giving me the uh, the, the pop-up thing about rebuilding it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we get raided. I've not seen that, but I'm, I think raiders. Uh, we can also raid others. There's other camps out there that we'll find. Um, I have ability. I, I'm, I'm working on that. Oh, oh, we got someone here. Colonists, wait, colonists is infected. That's not good. Uh, these guys want to want to say something. What do you got? Dumpster diving. Two colonists approach you with sparkling eyes. An old landfill has been found, probably by a stench. Uh, it's not far from here, although the smell is absolutely awful. It might be kept, uh, might have kept scavengers away there until now, and valuable stuff might still lie among the waste. Expedition uh, might prove lucrative. Definitely dangerous without equipment. So we need an extra set of clothes and tools, keeping the colonists safe and efficient. Uh, so we can say, okay, go for it. We're going to give you two tools and two clothes to go do it. We can say, go do it, but you don't get anything. Or we can say, no, stay here. You know what? Yeah, go for it. What you got? Uh, you smell them before you see anything. A pile of garbage in a vague shape of a humanoid approaches the gate and shouts, great success. Landfill was un indeed untouched and the loot well worth the effort. Once it's been properly washed and rinsed. Oh, we got 12 metal and six parts out of that. We all saw tools and clothing, however. And we have an infected colonist. All right, Thomas, what's going on over here? All right, so he is sick, which means he needs a medical tent. Let me go build one of those. I'm concerned about this. Um, medical tent. We're going to throw this guy. It can fit right there. Let's stash it over this way. Maybe we put it right at the front. Look right here. You walk into the base and you got a medical tent right there. So this one gives me the gives me the stuff. This one does not. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's it's assume it's okay. Ooh, ooh, how much does this cost? Two planks for a torch. I really want one. Ooh, ooh. Bushes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, and a pink bush. Right. Right there. There we go. You know, we gotta have you gotta be some sort of civilization here in the uh, in the apocalypse. Hey, Tommy. <clears throat> hey, Drizzit. Try to focus on food and water. They run out really fast. Okay. Thanks, Matt. Those things are done. Hopefully that gets done. We're working on this. I'm going to put this at, like, low priority. Hopefully they put it into here first. Which doesn't seem to be, um, uh, working. But we'll see. <clears throat> Food and water first. Okay. Um, let me get... Let's re repair this. 
Maybe we build another well real quick. Or we just throw in a water tower. Stores water. And consumption suddenly exceeds production. Right now we are making we're making a little bit of water. Producing four more than we need. So let's go a, a tower in and stash it right here in the middle of the base. Yeah, like right there. You okay there, buddy? Wow. All right, so he's got a major disease that's causing uh, continued health loss and penalties to his effectiveness. Unrelated infections lead to death. Antibiotics will help speed up healing considerably. We consume twice the amount of water as a healthy colonist. All right, so he's going to come back over this way. Is he going to because he's walking through that? Or is it just random? Maybe we should prioritize this to get that done. Uh -huh. He does seem to be hauling things. Or she does seem to be hauling things over here. So I'm guessing things are getting done here. It just doesn't show up as a normal construction. Uh, more stuff for the water tower. What do you need? Oh, I need more of that metal stuff. Uh, where do we find metal? You're getting plastic. Is there metal bits around here? There's maybe some around here somewhere. There's concrete. There's metal scrap right there. You are a recycler. We need to build a scrapper for that. Don't have a lot of... I guess I'm going to need it, though. I'm going to stash you back here with this guy. Away from those berries a bit. Oh, I'm going to put you on this side. Right there. there is, here's work land next to all the, uh, the waste. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's penalties for being right next to the waste. Maybe there is. Uh, we'll find out. Look on the wood fence on the gate. You see the building info. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Ah, thanks. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Medical tent is done. Hooray! And we got uh, what's her face with the hair. Brooklyn is uh, is doing all the work. Brooklyn. She works harder than average, and she's also a fanatic. Embraces their calling fully and unconditionally. Almost never gets tired. You know what, Brooklyn? It's good to have people like you around here. Why don't you go show these kids what they need to be doing? Besides just standing around. So that leaves us with one carrier now. Which is kind of a problem. And we're going to have less than that because of that. So we're going to have to maybe turn somebody off. <clears throat> we'll see. Crank this back up. We move the work areas. Will this, will this will this grab Will this grab the metals as well? No, this wasn't grab this doesn't grab scrap. This one only grabs food. And this guy is the plastic man. This guy is metal man. Need one more plank to get it done. And you are grabbing planks, correct? Yeah. That is one mega pig, and nor you would uh, you would know. <clears throat> Let's see, we need one plank. Uh, let me uh, let me crank the priority up on this one. Because it's very important, right? We'll never get anything built, though, with this done. We... Hmm. I, I, uh... I should have started with, uh... With, with, uh, more people. Yeah, scrapple for metal, recycler for plastic. Correct. Farms continue to grow without workers. Oh, oh. We we can harvest thing now if we need to. Uh, you know what? Let's try that. Get out of there. Let's see how it goes. So it's oh, waiting for worker to harvest. That's the wrong one. You uh, you go away. We'll keep an eye on that. It's at fifty-six percent right now. When it needs harvested, we'll come back and check on it. So yeah, get to work, buddy. What are you doing? Where are you at? Hmm? Do we need to have Bethany come talk with you. What's with the uh, old Freddy here? Built like a brick house. Endure many, endure, uh, able to endure many hardships. Structure their day about strict religious routines. Your religion should be pulling corn out of the ground, buddy. That's more like it. Okay, that one's good to go. Our gate is, uh, is, uh, getting there, I guess. Almost there. I guess we have all the materials. We're just waiting for someone to go hammer it a bit. 
Hey, Cory. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Hello. Survivors are seeking shelter. We have two adults that have just joined us. They are bringing with them 12 candy bars, uh, four med kits, and one coat. I'm just not sure what that is. Um, and we also have Pla <laughs> Pla Platy, the specialist, is also joining them. So the way this works is we've got two people. They're coming to the gate, and they're saying, hey, please let us in. People have keep saying the government never crumbled, but they just never left their own safe haven. I mean, why would they? That That's his way of saying, please come in. Uh, we're going to say yes, no, or just completely ignore them. Yes, please come in. But we also get Platy, the great Nordic adventurer, who claims to have been the Empress of Sweden before the apocalypse. She's an enthusiastic city designer. So this is from the, uh, this is like the early buy the game and early access and you get her to join you. She is, I guess everyone's good at something. All the, all the specialists. And uh, her specialist is, she's a good scavenger. So uh, I mean, we can see what she's good at. She's a good researcher. She's a good scavenger. I mean, she's all right. So yeah, of course we're going to take them. And did you pull up in, oh, we got a merchant here. In, that's, that's nice. That's real nice. <laughs> Alright, the wandering merchant is here. I'd like to talk to you. A lone van rattles toward the gate, suspension creaking under a heavy load. Greetings and salutations, my good people, shouts the driver. Can I interest you? Fine gents and ladies, and a bit of bartering on this loveliest of days. So I can say, um, you'll give me 29 corn if I give you 30 berries. How is that a benefit? Is, uh, corn. Oh, protein bars is what that is. Oh. Um, is that a good deal? Maybe. I don't know. That seems like a bad deal. Do people eat one unit of food per, um... Um... No, no. Uh, what else you got? You have, me um... You can give me medicine for some planks. I don't have any of that stuff. No, no, no deal. No deal. Take your golf club and go somewhere else. Okay, so our gate is now done. We have our fine flag flying there. Let's go and use our specialist. So, Platy here is gonna go and do some exploring. First off, we got some jerky out here, um, which actually we don't really need any food at the moment, but I suppose we can go ahead and grab it. So let's send her out. So the way this works is right. This is sort of in real time. The uh, the the building of the city and all that. And this is this her right here. Yeah. New sheriffs in town. Um, so she spends time units out here, and I think that's like half a day or something like that is is an action point or something. So we're gonna send her off to go to the farm to go get some. Um, you know, some of that done. You. Got it? Over there. She can carry 16 jerky in a turn, and then when she's done with her turn, she can come back over here to Fishtopia as soon as she's done with her... As soon as she has more action points. Which, it'll get, we'll get a pop-up when she's ready to go. Does food decay? I don't know. I don't know. That is an excellent question. Guess we're going to find out. We should have a lot of fish, though, right? We've got, uh, yeah, 15 fish. I hope it doesn't decay. Hey, Markin, how's it going? The scrapper has been completed. Excellent. I would like you, sir, to go and scrap over here. Okay. Get to work, buddy. You don't need anybody. It's a 65. Wasn't it... Was it 65 before? Is it not growing? We'll find out. And then we'll get a we'll get a pop up when she's ready to go. Let's keep on uh, trucking here. I'm gonna let people just keep on grabbing things. Uh, we'll try keep an eye. Oh, it is going up. Okay, okay. Lots of things are hauling in here. We've got new people now, so we got three carriers now instead of the the few that we had. So we could put someone on this task just to just to keep it going. Uh, so we got two people now that are out hauling uh, this these bits. For us, we still have Bethany here in the med bay, which I feel like maybe Bethany should be doing other things. She's uh, effective. Um, hmm. And uh, what else can we make in here? Right here, a Pathfinder statue. Ooh. Nice, nice. Was that our last berry deposit? Over here? I think it was. Yeah, so you need to go work somewhere else. So you need to go work... Um, how big can I make this that? There we go. Let's go work these close ones first, I guess. I uh, can't quite reach that, so let's do that. It's got some good... I got a very good, uh, very good soundtrack to it. 
Ten people. Do we have houses for everyone? We do, right? Yeah, ten people, ten houses. Um, we can get another shelter in, I suppose. Maybe we should get a warehouse just for stashing some things in here. I think we can tell you. Once this is all gone, we can get rid of you. Oh, she's ready for action. Okay, uh, come on back to Fishtopia. And uh, drop it off, please. And I think she does it on her own. And then come back. There she goes. She's going to grab eight more. And she's got eight now. And then we can put her... Maybe we can put her back in. Maybe it just takes eight per uh, turn to get that. Sorry, I haven't quite figured out the scavengers yet. We're working on it. Yes, this is early access. There are more radio stations you can listen to. Oh, yeah? How do I do that? Photo mode. What's this going to do for us? Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Change the time. Of oh, nice. Ooh. I like this. Some vignette to it. Oh, nice. Some bloom. Oh, everyone loves bloom. Tilt shift. Oh, yeah, that's that's okay. That's okay. Um, mm hmm, mm hmm. Those little. Can I get those little? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, that's real nice. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Uh, <laughs> all right. Stay away from rivers. That's right. The rivers. The uh, bloom and those rivers. Blind you. What's going on over here? What's this? Freddy, what are you doing? Having fun. There's no time for fun in this game. What are you doing? It's not. What are you doing? No fun. Get to work. What do we need for this? Oh, heat wave. Intense and impressive heat takes over the area as moisture evaporates, calling us struggle to keep hydrated and cool while working. Plants either wither in the cracks. Wither in the cracks. Oh, no. Uh, drink double. Crop yields on open fields suffer. Build and fill water towers. Stockpile food to survive. All right, all right, all right. So we have a catastrophe coming in two days is when this thing is hitting us. So we have two days to get these potatoes yanked out of the ground. Um, I think we'll go one day and then we'll yank it out tomorrow. <laughs> and then we need to... I wonder if we should crank out another well. Because we're going to be... We have a balance of just two at the moment. Because this thing's never going to get made. Let's crank out a well just... just uh, just in case. Maybe we should set this one up over... This is where residential land's going to be, so let's set it up like over here. This has to be in, yeah, in fertile soil. So put that right there. And top priority. Do we have... Um, we need to get a bit more concrete. We should have some of those coming in. Hey, thanks, Bertali. Hey, Dodger, how are you? Keep an eye on that. When it goes down to one, we're going to go yank those potatoes out of the ground. And you actually probably don't need to be working on this right now, because we're going to wait for that heat wave to go away. Because it's going to tear my, my soil up. So I'd rather you go out and do some hauling of things. Instead of, of this. And you as well. When that grows, um, when we need to, we'll put you in there. To yank it out. We can get 33 out of there now if we go and just start pulling those potatoes out. That's how potatoes work in real life, too. You plant a whole field... And they just kind of go down the line. Uh, the longer you wait, the more of them become prepared, become ready. <laughs> apocalyptic Frostpunk. I mean, Frostpunk is apocalyptic, but yeah, it's it's um, it's warm Frostpunk. I suppose you could call it that. I think post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic banish is is the best way of describing it. Paradox title, yes, it's on Epic while it's in early access. Two colonists are fighting. What? What is this? Pushing through a circle of people, you notice two colonists brawling on the, on the ground. Both stand up upon your arrival and go into accusing each other. One had apparently spent the entire day harassing the other, who finally snapped and threw a first punch. Both are now bruised and bleeding. Give them medicine. Uh, punish the aggressor. Punish the instigator. Let them fight. I mean, you know, it's the apocalypse. You gotta... Things just... Things aren't aren't easy, and you gotta just let that let out that steam every once in a while. And it's about to get really hot. Just go for it. You go for it. You let your brawlers sort out this out themselves. There's more important things to handle right now. The crowd is visibly displeased with your reluctance reluctance to lay the blame on someone. Oh, get over it. Two colonists are injured. Hey, uh, Bethany. What's your name? Huh? Brooklyn. Whatever your name is, get to work. Give him some band aids. 
Got some Peppa Pig band-aids. We need some of those. There's a broken bone man coming in. Lady. And then Leo is standing here with a large axe. It appears. Why does he have such a giant axe? Where'd that go? <laughs> oh, ready again? Okay. So is there... So that's cleaned up right now, right? Yes. That's done for. Um, she has more space, though. So let's go send her out on an excursion. Let's go uh, Let's go down here. You. Keep on not clicking you. Come on down here. Let's go scout this place out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what'd you find? A camping site, you say? Oh, yeah, go get it. Head that way. When you're ready. Bring us back some, some plastics and things. Giant access for that giant pig. Yeah. <clears throat> Get that concrete in here. We have it. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So that'll get well number two. So if hopefully we can yank enough water out of the ground in two days that uh, we won't die. I probably should play a little more uh, aggressively because we've got uh, kind of a hard difficulty level here. We have loads of food, though. So food, I don't think, is going to be a problem for a while. Production is only two, and our consumption is eight, though. <clears throat> hmm. Our storage is full. Which, uh, is that? Not done yet. Um, let's crank it back up. Doesn't really matter. I mean, it's the only other thing to be done. So as long as this gets done first, and then the rest of the metal scraps will go into here. We've got them. And we'll get that finished. It'll be out on Steam late next year. When it comes out of early access, it'll go to Steam. Okay, plastic's going in there. You bring it in that. Uh, we still have two days to go. Let's go ahead and... Uh, nice water well. we got a production of 14 now. Nice. And this should get done really quick. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Let's crank it up. I don't see... Let's see here. We don't really have a defense thing. We can fight, but our fighting's all done by our specialists, as far as I, as far as I understand. Uh, however... Oh, you know what? However, there is science in the game. we got one day left. Let's go get someone over here and start pulling these things out. <clears throat> Just get them out of the ground. We'll see where that goes with us. It's at 14. We'll see what happens when we get the, uh, the heat wave in here. It's raining right now. That's what this got done. Um, I don't know where we find science. <clears throat> I haven't got there yet. But she's supposed to find it on, on some sort of excursions out here. And as we hit this, we unlock more things. There's also a lot of bandits around in the world. <clears throat> there we go. Water tower done. Ooh, capacity 600. Nice. Specialist, ready for action. All right, uh, yeah, go on head down here. You. Okay, grab some, uh, all that fabric. There you go, she's done. For now. Is this out of the ground yet? One day left, but we have all day to do it. Mm -hmm. People are standing around doing nothing. No time for fun here. Uh, we should build another house. Let's get a uh, shelter in here. Throw in a dirt road. There we go. And we'll have a we'll have some houses in case we get any people, which I'm guessing new folks will show up here eventually. There we go. Okay, now he's getting them. Oh, yeah, he'll harvest pretty quick. Seems like a lot of potatoes. Let's go 30-something? I don't know if that's a lot of food, but I think it is. If we're only eating, like, eight a day... Oh, there's our production, so it's not like a... Okay. I guess it's just for the day. It's not like an overall production. Uh, it's a pretty big map. I don't think we can run out of room. I mean, if you count this mighty fence that we have, that's our defense. 
But as long as we stay behind that, I think we got anywhere. All this is our room that we can go build on. We'll have the lakes back this way. Uh, Colin's gonna go exploring, eh? Group colonists have gotten curious about a nearby river and want to see what it's like for traveling. They managed to build a simple, simple raft and are eager to test its floating capabilities. Uh, what they'd find alongside the riverbank. Yeah, go for it. Group finally returns with middling success. The boat started to leak halfway through, and even worse than that, strong streams made the trip extremely exhausting. Managed to catch some fish. That's all it was worth. 17 fish. Sounds like it's worth it to me. 17 fish. Alright. Uh, I would like it. You're full on that. we got plenty of room left, though, so let's go... Do we just do a circle around our base first? Let's go over here. Scoop that out for me. What'd you find? Manufacturing tools. Okay, yeah, go there. When you get time units, go there. <laughs> All right, new shelter's ready. No one lives there yet, though. What are these little blocks here? What is this? What is all that? Like crates of, of things? We need a warehouse, I think. If I salvage this with things in it, what happens? Oh, the truck holds 300 water also. Oh, maybe we should just leave it there. That seems good. I want to put a warehouse in. I'd like it to go in here somewhere. If I can fit it. I can fit it that direction. Stash it here on the edge. Like that. Did I do that? Oh no! Oh no! Uh, cancel. Ruin my road. Oh, I can't fit it there. Hmm. I want it to be in the middle of the roundabout, though. I guess we can stash it there. Maybe, let's see. If it's gonna be all my, um... These guys are over this way. Maybe we should stick it over here. Just keep it kind of in the in the way, but also sort of close to uh, everything and the on the side of the builders, of the, of the grabbers. Do that. <laughs> yeah, but I can't, I can't move it. Um, oh, I guess we could scoot it over. I'm going to leave it, though. We can get rid of this, but I think the 300 water is, is good to have, especially right now, it's good to have around. And we are at, what's our water capacity at? Oh, we're at 900 now. Okay, I want you to go and get me some tools, please. There you go. Action points. They seem to basically be able to do one thing. Move to one zone, or do one... Um, grabby thing. Who got injured? Thomas? What's wrong with you? Thomas, you okay, buddy? Don't you worry. Uh, Brindley will take care of you. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Man. I was thinking, you know, maybe it'll get hot outside. <laughs> no. Don't cultivate, buddy. No, no point. Okay. Man. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to feel like maybe we shouldn't live here. <laughs> I'm playing on... Are we on? I think we're on the easy mode of the fertile soil. Most everything else is, is medium or hard. Man, yeah, passive cooler time. Warehouse complete, perfect. We should move that stuff over there. We don't need no need for coats right now. I wonder what a fun box is. There's some various entertainment products for the old world. Acquired by all entertainment buildings can be found on the world map. Yeah, some of those. We're at, oh, we still have a, a production of four water, even in this heat wave. So no problem. This is easy. No problem. It just looks terrible. As long as it's supposed to last. People are drinking more, but it's fine. And crops are done for. Stockpile food to survive. We did it. No problem. Oh, really? There it is. Oh. and spooky. Can you hear it? Oh, not so spooky anymore. Is it? Yeah, it is raining in the heat wave, isn't it? 
It can rain in the heat wave. I live in Oklahoma. Trust me. It can rain in the heat wave. And it just makes it just makes you feel even more miserable. It's not normal rain, it's like it's hot rain. It's the worst. Heat waves in Rimworld are probably the my the biggest enemy. Colonists found something. Oh yeah, what'd you find, buddy? Uh a abandoned property. One of the colonists rushes towards you. He says that someone spotted an abandoned wagon not too far from here. Covered with a tarp so they couldn't tell what was inside. There are footprints around it. But no one could tell where they lead. Colonist wants to go search the wagon in case there's something there. Search them, but arm the colonists with two tools. I only have two tools left. Sorry, buddy. Search the wagon. Yeah, go go do it without tools. Smoke group colonists ventures out to search the wagon. It takes them a while, but eventually they return. The wagon's been carrying only a small amount of supplies, but that's not worth it. That's not the worst of it. You can push through a radiated zone, and a few colonists are already showing signs of radiation sickness. Great. We got some junk out of it. Plus nine junk. And some irradiated people. Here they come. He is. <laughs> You guys all right? I think maybe you need to get that checked out. <laughs> all right, how you doing? You got those tools already? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go scoot up this way. Okay. Tell me what you see. What you got? Another manufacturing? More tools? Yeah, go there. Don't be like that. Nope, not a Canadian. <laughs> Texans tease Oklahoma people. Yep, Oklahoma people do the same thing right back. Only two things only two things come from Texas, you know that's the that's the main one and, and all that. Yeah, I guess we get iodine tablets from somewhere. I don't know where that comes from. I'm guessing it's gonna be from medicine. But I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, that's that's correct, soldier. Um, how are we doing here? Let's see. That's us on a mission. That's eight something. No bandits yet. We'll find some bandits, hopefully. We should have a lot of bandits out there. Everyone's health is good. We haven't got any energy yet. I would like to find... I would like to find some... Some science. I want to see about the science thing. Who knows? Maybe science not in the game. I haven't actually got that far. I'm, I just watched Quill play. <laughs> butter. <laughs> man, this, uh, it looks pretty. I wouldn't want to live here, but it's, man. It's like 65 degrees outside right now. Maybe Top Gun? I don't know. No, no zombies. No zombies. Well, we've got... Mason, get yourself taken care of, buddy. Why are you just standing over there? Are hey, you Mason? Buddy. Hey, Mason. Oh. Um, let's go get more tools, I guess. Get that, get that done, and then we'll send you up here. Let's we'll go do a, do a circle first before we head out. Did you get all those done? Did I, did I miss those? It says there's still tools there. I may have missed those. Uh, we can get rid of this. Eventually. No, no, we'll leave that. Because that's our grab scrap thing. Keep working. We do have. I'm not quite happy with four work or four carriers. Uh, we don't have a hunter shack yet. Maybe we should look into that. Food's not a problem. Oh, a forester. Grow saplings and plants them in a specified work area. Trees are an important area. We've also got a sawmill which cuts down trees and makes them into planks. That might be useful. Uh, I'm kind of worried about the seasons and having only three coats. So maybe we can turn some of this fiber into coats. Let's do that. So if, let's see, here, here, let's plan this thing out. So this is going to be like storage land right here. Food land up there. Living land over here. Um, work land there. Maybe we put, like over on this side will be um, the, uh, ooh, hang on. Oh, we got two new people coming in. Oh, they're coming in with coats, medicine, some uh, some steak, some tools. Wonder why the, there's no way all technology turned useless when things went down. So what happened to the planes, tanks, and everything else? Excellent question. Would you like to live here? What kind of question is that? It's not even a question, it's just a statement. Yeah, a lot of folks in here today. A lot of folks, last last few streams we had a lot of folks in here. 
Yeah, repair that, please. I think we had 300 something last night. We had like 700 in there um, last week? Two weeks ago? Someone's at the gate. Oh, hey, hey, hooded figure. Oh, you look trustworthy. Man approaches the gate dressed in a beaten old trench coat uh, and burying his face inside a large hood. He remains tight lipped about his exact origins or motives. He offers to join the colony to help out working as a scientist. He's constantly looking over his shoulder while talking and seems overall nervous. Now, now, um, I've watched a few TV shows in my day, and uh, the guy with bowling pins in his back pocket and a rubber chicken, you don't let that, you don't trust that guy. <laughs> um, hmm, what do you think? Don't trust me as a rubber chicken. Maybe he'll put a pulley on it. <laughs> that seems okay. <laughs> I need this, you know what, I do need the science, I need the science, you know what, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Rub your hands together like that, that's great. Come on in. Wait, really? You're just going to let me in? No one ever does that. You should really be more careful. Despite his words, the Lone Wanderer is impressed by your hospitality. He wanders around the colony for a while and comes back asking, Could I maybe, you know, join you and stay here? Sure, sure, buddy, sure. Uh, are you... D you're good. You're good. The, the berry person, I think, is, is done. You got a few more here, though. Okay, specialist ready for action. He's not a specialist, though, right? No, he's just uh, another colonist. I did leave those behind, didn't I? Um, it's fine. We'll come back for him. She can. She's gonna need to come back and drop some things off. Oh, here we go. We have. There's a. What's the hazard? Do we know? We don't know. You gotta try it out. Not. It's not a bandit. It's just an old truck. Planks. We need. We can use planks. Let's just find resource locations, and they don't have to return to use the points. So he's just some random guy that joined us. Okay. We have, plus those other two guys, we got seven carriers now. Uh, let me get a second recycler. Might as well. Hey, you guys. Oh, look, his twin came in. And then we've got another one of these guys. Oh, <laughs> look at the triplets. <laughs> oh, hooray! Hooray! It's nice outside now. Get back to work. Um, let's see. I could have another... No, that's it, I think. Those two. Oh no, I could have another fisherman if we need to. I think I got plenty of food though. I don't think there's any quite a variety of food from vegetables to meat and insects is critical for survival. I don't see a need for more. Is there a way of telling me? I wish it gave me kind of an overall production, not just. Hmm. Uh, oh, good point. I have 13. Yeah, because I can easily hold six. So yeah, we're good. Um, I guess I can stick another one in just to have it ready. Can you fit over here? You can fit uh, right there. We could do something like this. Squeeze you in back here. What's in the way? Oh, radiation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind the radiation in the backyard. <laughs> um, I'm going to stash you right here. Maybe we'll clean that up sometime. And we'll put a road back there. Keep them in the right. The ro remove road and the build road is in the wrong spot. Something like that. And then we'll build a road that goes kind of like over there. And then over this way. Yeah. Okay. Roads don't take any resources. I think it's just random events. There's no politics or anything in the game. Again, this is super early access. Well, not super early access. It's... Well, early access one day. It's got one year of early access time. That's what they have planned. And then, um, uh, end of 2020 is when this is supposed to hit full release. Yeah, six to toe, it just makes you run faster. Put hair on your chest. Exactly. I like the music. This is, this is okay. Makes me feel, uh, reminds me, reminds me of something, of some game. I don't know what it is, though. All right, what do we have? Oh, I was going to get a sawmill. Yeah, we should probably do that. So we need to get a sawmill set up on some trees. I guess we can go anywhere. We can just mark where the trees are going to be chopped. We have this whole area here we can chop down. Um, then we can move the sawmill later. Or we can set it up. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this side over here. Um, other side of the radiation. How about like, uh, like right there? 
There's some trees over here. Let's go ahead and get a road heading this way. Like that. Maybe through the waste a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. And then we'll get some trees chopping. And I'm assuming I can change the, uh, the where he works. Okay, what do you got? Oh yeah, you got things to go and deal with. Go deal with it. 31 planks though, that's good. Maybe because she's a... Um, there was no hazards there. She's a scavenger, so I think it's maybe that's why she grabs so much. She can carry so much. I think that changes based on how, um, how good they are at various things. Hey, Drago. Is there... I, I imagine there'd be a lot of people playing this today. Is there not a lot of folks on Twitch that are streaming this? I mean, I, I assume if... Paradox doesn't send me keys. So I assume if they send me a key, that means that a lot of people got uh, got some keys. I'm guessing. Grab some plastics over there. We got the metal still getting hauled in. You know what? Uh, there's two people working there. Why don't I give you guys a road? Here, you'll have a road. And then we can have this road kind of go back. These don't cost anything, so let's just go something like that. These are going to be here for a while, right? 56 left. <laughs> Every streamer and their grandma's playing this. Yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah, I... You know, I, um... I, when I streamed last night, I was thinking all week, I, I, I remembered that there was something that I needed to play this weekend. And... I could not remember what it was. I was like, but it was bothering me because I couldn't remember what it was. And then, after that stream, I uh, I, I logged off, and then on my subscription feed, there was both uh, Quill and Catherine of Sky had both both played it. And then I remembered, oh yeah, that new Paradox game. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing it. I just completely forgot the uh, the date. A bandit at the gates. He's acting a bit. What? Excuse me. Trader bandit. A man approaches the gate with a hefty backpack, bursting out of the seams with blueprints, measuring sticks and other items. He has all the usual bandit trappings, but is acting very unbandit like faction. Oi, oi. Why did I address whomever's in charge? A master builder is Aaron, you better listen. He's building a monument of sorts and need construction materials, so how about we trade, eh? Um. Which. Oh, I can choose. I can give you seven plastic, you give me five components. What are components? Components. I don't have any components. I'll give you nine metal. I don't have a lot of those. I have plastic to spare. For parts. Where's parts? Parts are there. I have parts already. Something more exciting. Do you have something more exciting to trade? A good question. Look like a dealer of flesh to you? Me? I'm an honest bandit. Just wanted to make my mark on the world. Goodbye. No, 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 no. I want the... Oh. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know that was, like, insulting in, in bandit culture. <laughs> Sorry, with an axe. Yeah, I have an ice axe. Have you seen it? Alright, I think we're going to go... We're going to stop by this one, and then we'll head south back to Fishtopia, and then drop off what we've got. Ooh, 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 a museum. 308 science. That seems good. Ooh, okay. Oh, I get it. We're out scavenging the world, and then she's going to stop by the, uh... What are you doing? She's going to stop by, like, the, uh... What's the museum in, in Chicago? The, um... What's it called? I don't remember. But the uh, the big museum. Just stop by a museum, look at some tr some T Rexes, and you get inspired to do some some things. Uh, work area is going to be here in the trees, and then we've got her working this. It's going to make me two planks per thing. That seems like a good thing. I would like two people to do this because we've got plenty. Oh, it's only one carrier left. Um. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. How do you harvest science? Raid the USB sticks. <laughs> Read some plaques, come back with knowledge. <laughs> the uh, I can't remember I can't remember the name of that. It's a very cool museum. If you haven't been uh, in Chicago, uh, the Field Museum is that what it's called? I think it's a very very fancy looking museum. It's like it's like when you think of like a fancy old museum, it's that built in like 1900 or whatever, which is old for uh, us here in the U.S. Okay, that one's done. Is it still looking a little choppy? It's... I can't tell on my uh, screen. 
That's a good question. When do those kids grow up? It's only been 10 days. How long does it take for a kid to get older? Field museum. Okay. Um, yeah, go get that museum. You can get 150 in one in one uh, action point, one trip. Oh, it, okay, it's there already. Let's uh, let's spend it. Let's let's science. Now we can do communal eating, which gives us what? Who knows? Um, energy production. Oh, communal living. We already have that. General storage or not that. Um, how about energy production? Oh, here we go. Power background is the most major step forward. We get solar panels and wind turbines to provide energy in small quantities. Require advanced materials such as parts and components. We don't have that. Both can be found by scavenging. Solar panels run. Uh, maybe, maybe. This one will give us a cookhouse and a logging camp. Nutritious meals from raw food ingredients. Logging camp provides firewood. Oh. Oh. This one gives me shanties, tenements. This is just a general storage place, and we can't do this one yet. With a trade center. We're going to have 300 bucks, so we could go with that one if we wanted to do that. Well, we could do it anyway. Communal eating, you think, is the best one? For the kitchens and things? I think, I think so, too. All right. Uh, let's build that cookhouse. Yeah. Warm meals. Basic food ingredients. Okay. This is big. Stash it here in the middle. Um, I think this is probably a good spot for it. Maybe over on this side. Right there. Using up some of our good farmland for this, so I don't know how much farmland we're going to need. There seems to be plenty, though. Get that made. We also need to get a thing to make firewood, right? Which was... Logging camp. Press on trees for firewood. Okay, so we're going to make this whole... This whole land over here is going to be forest land. So I'm going to stash you here next to this guy. And then next to you is going to be the, um, the forester. If we can fit him in here. Something like, uh, like that. There we go. And then we can just keep this whole place foresty. How's the corn looking? Looking okay. I'm keeping on that food production, but it seems like it's still going fine. This is strange. Let's, let's change that. Back to Wild Frontier. <clears throat> You're right, not enough people at work, but we can take people off of these if we need to. I'm going to leave them there until these get built, then we can take them off and throw them in there. We should have some more folks showing up, I think, soon. We're going to let my research lady go spend some more time at that museum. Uh, yeah, there's some... What are you? There's some boars around, but they don't seem to be too, uh... don't seem to be too angry. Yep, he's showing them what he got. <laughs> What else is out here? There's these ruins. Big lake over here. I don't know if, if they plan on having it to where you can have a city this this massive. It's very cool if it can be. Production people. People work faster with tools. Tool production. Tool production. I think everyone has a tool, though, don't they? Can I click on you? Yeah, I think everyone has them. You need what? You need some concrete? Uh, are you getting it? Is there any over here? Yeah. Uh, actually, the boards are less of a priority. Let me change this to... Let's just do this. Grab all that. It's all concrete. That's all your job is going to be. However, we have less carriers, so let's go and turn you off and your brother so they can go grab some things yes dumpster diving again uh yeah okay
Smell them back. Approaches the gate. It's great success. This happened last time. We got more metal, more components. Ooh, or, or we actually got components. Good. Next level housing, people are more likely to reproduce. Is this true? Uh, while you're here, I'll do that again. Do that again. Just give me eight left over, which I really don't care about. I guess we can grab it if I want to spend a turn. I'm going to use her other actions to go explore, though. That gives us 200, though, so let's go science more. Advanced farming leads us bigger fields. Energy is the solar panels, which we do have some things now. We could try that, but I don't know what it's going to... What needs power yet. There's the tenements and shanties. Um, start also decorating the colony with some flowers and seeds, yeah. Better protection against radiation. This is just the general storage. And then we have bartering, which gives us a trade center. Colony's not the only one in the world. Other societies are still out there and willing to exchange goods once you have built a trading center. To coordinate, attracts bigger trade convoys to your gates. Bigger deals than wandering merchants. You know what? I kind of want to see this. I think maybe this is good. Click on the shanty, you say. I can't click on it. It doesn't tell me. Does that... Does that work that way? I was up saying something like that. Get the living. All right. Still have 100 points, so we can get the energy production also. Or... Oh, we can get both of these. Huh. Uh, do we want that one? This is going to be everything. Master forecast bartering. We don't care. I do kind of want the the, uh, the bartering though. Let's get. Uh, I, I want this one, so I'm gonna save up for it. See if we, I'm gonna see what we can find real quick in the next zone. If we don't see any more signs in these two, then we'll, we'll uh, then we'll pick one. But for now, we can't build anything anyway, so we're gonna wait. So we got a new house, right? Shanties. Give some protection against that. Construct a form of housing for several colonists. Less likely to reproduce in cramped shelters. Like less likely to reproduce in those. Oh, that's why we build a tent. Because people are more likely to reproduce in them. Oh. Um, this one holds three people, but it takes concrete, which we don't have a lot of. You know what? I'll do it. It's like a little camper. I like that. Let's stash that one in... Got a couple of those right there. Let's get some reproducing going on. I mean, all they're gonna do is make kids. Do I want more kids? I'm just gonna make a wind generator. Yeah, I have no use for energy yet. Hobo through life. No, I haven't. Let me uh, let me take a quick break here. I take a break real quick. I will pause it though before anything terrible happens. So I'll be right back. Give me one second.
comment I come back to is Nook only reproduces in vans. <laughs> Did I wash my hands? Of course. Squeaky clean. All right. Uh, what is there a school in the game? Is that what you're telling me? Did I miss something? Is that something I guess we can grab on later on? Uh, there's a few things we haven't made that's in the game yet, though. A burial pit might be nice to have, but I guess we'll wait until people die before we do that. Um, I'm not gonna spend an whole action point just grabbing that eight signs. It seems like such a waste. So we're gonna go over here and explore. We do that or we head back. Now we got plenty of space. Thanks, space. Let me see, what is that? A diner with canned food, eh? Canned fruit. Um, if I leave it, does that mean it will um, be taken by someone else? I don't, I don't know if that's in the game. Is there just something to the kids? Uh, school is more important than ever. Educated children become permanent production bonus once they start working. Paper windmills, log, log flowers, bottle cactus, very nice. Paved roads. What else can we get in here? Bottle tree. There's some nice looking houses this, this way. Oh, an arena. Library. Game arcade. Movie theater. Oh, we're living the life. Field hospital and an environmental station. Means to clean up. Oh, clean up those um, supposedly irradiated soil that you're producing. Is that going to be clean up the uh, the nuclear waste? Radar, battery packs, street lights, mechanic shop. Converts uh, it to parts. Converts junk to parts. And what else we got on here? Insect farm. Nice. Orwell, Bakery, Mess Hall. It seems kind of strange that we have to we have to learn how to make a bakery. Is that really something that requires like years of, of researching in museums to figure out, oh, look, bread. Yeah, when do they become become uh, adults? <laughs> milk science, right, right. Well, I forgot about the milk science. <laughs> um, oh, you guys are done. Uh, well, you are anyway. So I want you to make sure you're the forester, man. Uh, forest in the same spot. I wonder if I should move it. Where are you working? Like right, right in here, right? And you're uh, well. Make sure you're working like right there on the scrap is what was at the spot. Can I make it bigger? Yeah. I'll make foresty land. Right here's good. You can same thing. Right there. Cookhouse is done. Once this gets done, we'll uh, we'll set up some new trees getting made. Cookhouse is done. We got ourselves. Oh, we got ourselves a Burger King. Oh no, it's an old. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think I've eaten at that restaurant before. <laughs> All right. Make some good brisket. Uh, who wants to talk? What do you want? Looting local. A couple of your colonists spotted some sort of vehicle stuck down in the deep crevasse. Might still have some useful stuff left inside of it, but climbing down without proper gear is dangerous. I don't care. Go for it. I'm not your mom. Lowers the one member down. Indeed, an old 4x4 vehicle wedged in tight. Space is narrow and falling rocks ominously rattle against the truck's body. Most of the doors are rusted shut. Some grunting and strong language. A pile of loot is pulled back to the surface. Hey, all right. Seven clothes. Nice. So you need you need lum uh, firewood in order to make... Veggie meals. I can select what... Oh, look at that. Meat stew. Where's the um, made from insects? Made from meat and veggie. Just from meat and you're just from veggie. I'm going to do meat and veggie. We have lots of fish. Fish and jerky and some venison. Uh, I'm going to haul off on those, actually. I'm going to come in here. <laughs> oh, a bandit lair. Okay. Excellent. 34 concrete is there. Ba buried, uh, bandits defend the location. Okay, so here's how this works as far as I understand. So, you can see we have 100 health. Our attack is a 1, defense is a 1. They, however, you can see they're way stronger than we are. But, he only has 10 health, so it's actually pretty easy for us to go there and just snap some necks. So, we'll see how that plays out, though. We may get a little damage. We'll run back to home and I guess and get patched up that way, though. What's the... 
I hear some weird noises here. Hey, Timber. What do you need? Oh, concrete. Right, we have bandits that have concrete. Free carriers left. Oh, no. Um, we have zero, don't we? Combat is bugged. Oh, yeah? You get out of there. Because we got one carrier in the whole place. This colonist Harry is infected. Haven't you been infected before, Harry? What are you doing out there? He's going to get a coat. Abigail there. You guys just have one person working for you. One person there. Yeah, we need to get uh, we need to get a few more people. That's Maverick. It's just on YouTube, uh, Norg. Have you been uh, looking at how many viewers we have on DLive? Thomas can sick. Okay, okay. As soon as she's ready to go, I think we're going to send her back out there. How is the how is the lag? Is it looking okay? I have my my OBS screen over here to the side opened up, and it doesn't look good. It looks fine over here. He only did one seven damage. He has four defense. Means so we go three to four. So do no damage. I can't see it no more over and over and over. I see, I can see YouTube number, but that's it. Um, what are you saying about? I'm, I'm. Those look fine. Okay. You can do only one to seven damage. He has four defense, so mean roll three to four, so you do no damage. Does that mean that I can't win that fight at all? Kind of okay. Let's see if I can uh, do a quick more adjustment. Is there anything else we can turn down here? Texture's fine. Well, I don't want really to turn the detail down. It makes a few distance a little bit slower. I guess, lower, I guess. Let's try to see what that does. I don't want to turn it down that far. It's gonna look like gonna look like garbage. It does look better now, though. It actually does look a lot better from my screen. I like our uh, our gate's very nice. I'm just worried the more we get into this, the more uh, more uh, not good it's going to look. Uh, yeah, mixed meals, good. I like it. Let's bring it in. Um, look at our production. We're making tons of food. This is like this is easy. It, things are better in the in the apocalypse than it is before. I mean, your houses look kind of funny, but it's style. Uh, I want you to work this tree growing land right here. Preferably. So he'll grow little little trees. You're right, yeah, you know, it is actually a lot better. Low graphics are actually a lot better than a lot of games on, on low. Oh look, they got a kiddie pool. Alright. Um I'm gonna try this. Let's go drop off our stuff first, and then we'll then we'll try, just in case. Build tenements instead of shanties; they'll give you more housing space and they'll survive longer. Well, the, the, we're trying to make babies. People are more likely to make babies when they have privacy, um, and that goes for real life as well. Just a little uh, little real life tip for you too. Fructivus in the colony. Hmm. So, and also, I see if I'm if I'm correct about this. My, um, like for instance, my science thing. Does that mean I find more science in those? Does that mean I can grab more science per turn in those science places, or in scavenge more things in those places? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of stuff here. Let me get some things made. Uh, well, I want to make things, but I don't have people. Keep on. I, I want to make stuff. What can we do here? Water is still perfect.
We can put in some some. Oh, you know what? We need some torches around here. Yeah, yeah. Let's line the uh, the road with some torches. If you walk into my base, I want you to know you're somewhere important. Maybe we can like double road this. That's just one in right, right, at the, right at the corner. Oh, right there, right there. There we go. Maybe we put one on both sides. I'm thinking double road. One right here. Yeah. And then we go in here with a road. Does it look funny if we do it that way? Find out. What that dude for his bricks? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Are we ready? We're not ready yet. She's uh, she's busy. Is she ready? No, she's not. She get give her a break. She'll be there in a minute. She needs to catch her breath. She's over here walking around for some reason. Is this just stuff? Just stockpile stuff? Are we full? No. Why is this stuff just laying over here? We have a warehouse. Oh, parked van. Oh, this guy again. Uh, what do you want, buddy? Um, you'll give me three components for, or three clothing for four. No, no, we're not gonna do that. So what else you got? No, uh, no, no thanks. Come back when you got something good. Oh, plastic's done. Okay. Um, let's move and work right there. We got more metal spots around here also, so no big deal. Thanks, Drew. Thanks. Draw hall? Draw hall? Alright. So we've we've emptied our pockets. Time for killing. Just go look at them for a bit. Steal the bricks. Next turn. Best research everything that doesn't require electricity first. Can you give her a weapon? I don't know if you can give her stuff. I don't see any, like, spots for it. I'm gonna guess no. So, uh, yeah, for those of you that missed it before. So this is obviously real-time things happening here. Uh, the way the world map works is she has a certain amount of action points. You got six. And a turn is like a half a day or something, so each turn she can do something in the world map. <laughs> yes, the people at Litter did do a very good job of getting it st stuck in the nice piles. <laughs> hey, we got ourselves a nice house. Who's living here? There don't even be no kids here. Brooklyn? Okay, Brooklyn. Okay, Brooklyn. Eleanor. Avery. Wait, are you all girls? What are you? Are you a girl? Can I kick you out? No baby's getting made that way. Brooklyn would be okay if she makes a baby, though, because she's she's the ideal colonist. Mason's now an adult. Mm -hmm. Hooray, Mason! All right, so that didn't take too long. He started out, he was a kid. Now he's some punk kid building a uh, uh, torch now. Torches are getting done. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Lots of tents are getting done. Very cool. Nice. Good. Specialist ready to go. Alright, alright. It's killing time. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Oh, that was your round. Okay. So you hit me for 12, I hit you for 3. But you only got 10, so no big deal. We got you. We can do this. Mason is a, is a Mason, yes, yes. This real shortage of concrete here. I can't wait for that uh, that mission to go through. We got. I think we're doing good on everything else. I don't know. Um, I can't really build anything else because we got just a lack of people. This thing is gone now. It might actually be more ideal to just get rid of this thing. I mean, it's a lot of storage space, but we could trash this and just put it, like four water towers in that same spot, or maybe a couple anyway. 
I kind of like my truck there, though. It's got a nice style to it. My food is over there. Are you storing the meals? You need veggies, which you've got. There's plenty of meat, plenty of veggies. We've got all the fish. Fish and venison. Along with the, uh, the corn and the potatoes we're making. I'll take care of that. There's another warehouse over there. Monument to the lack of vans. Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean, happy culture? What do you guys want? My last hope. Ragged bunches r shuffles slowly toward the gate. Clothes are torn and dirty with traces of dried blood. One of them pleads. Our caravan was torn to shreds by effing bandits. we got no place to go. Would you please help us? We'll give you every bit we have left in some medicine, for some medicine or shelter. Welcome to the inn and alert the medic. Just give him medicine and wash them on. You know what? Come on in. The group is frankly surprised by your offer. Having a little words aside from thank you to say. Injured are advised to seek the medic immediately. We got Bethany in there for you. Got some potatoes, some clothing, some colonists. Excellent. Riley and Hazel are infected, but it's okay. We got, uh... What's the name of the bee? You? Oh, no. No, no. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Get back in there. I meant to look at you. So we saw that. Is this a change in E? I guess not. I want you to underestimate the effect of a lonely guitar under the starry sky can have on people. Yeah, broke my knife. I like, I like that. Uh, okay, let's go for some more. So you hit him for one. You hit him for one, he hits you for a lot more than one. We'll get him eventually. <laughs> they're not called breeding huts, they're houses. <laughs> Keep an eye on that food number there, because we got more people coming in here, and the water number. It seems pretty easy to... Uh -huh. Who's that? Hazel, get into the tent. What are you doing? In here. Brooklyn's waiting for you. Where are you going? Back here. Hmm. Puts us at 17. We've got enough space for... 18... 24? Horizon starts turning from blue to toxic green, and the air seems to burn your lungs. These are the first signs of impending danger. Intense radiation is a constant threat, with both colonists and crops withering and dying due to nuclear, nuclear fallout. Uh, new seeds cannot be planted before it's over. Severe cases of radiation sickness and thirst can take their toll on any of everyone. Harvest crops before they wither. Stockpile iodine pills and treat radiation sickness quickly. I'm assuming that's just medical. And build more medic tents. Assign more workers to existing ones to help those in need. Okay. Uh, two days again. So, let's yank these things out of the ground as soon as we can. Don't even worry about planting these. Because they're going to be dying, I guess, anyway. Yep, toxic fallout. Uh, we can hire somebody along with Bethany. We'll wait until... I don't, well, I keep calling her Bethany. Whatever her name is. Um, and, oh. You're bringing me four coats. Fif 14 meats. Some canned food. I don't believe the government designed this. People aren't that cruel. But they are that stupid. Someone made a mistake they couldn't fix. You know what? Come on in. We got plenty of food. I'm assuming I shouldn't be letting everyone in so quickly, but I'm gonna go ahead and give her her friend to help with this. We have just enough space for everybody. We can go and make sure you're working that. We've got plenty of haulers now. We got nine carriers. I'm gonna add another fisher person. There we go. Keep the fish up. The fallout's about to hit. It's going to be probably some water problems when that happens. I need more breeding tents. Hey, Milan. Immigration control? No, 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 we're fine. Okay, are you ready to ready to kill now this time? Yeah. Ready? Yeah? There you go, there you go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. How you doing? What? Oh, maybe this isn't working. May not be working. Maybe we need to find a new specialist that knows how to fight people. I really want that concrete, though. I need it. Okay. Um, I want to get another well built. And we'll stash this one over on this side by the farms. It's just 
makes sense to be here. Like, what was that right there? Attacks below his defense. I mean, we were doing damage before. My house next to the nuclear waste. Yeah, yeah, it's like a backyard. You know, it, it keeps... It's, it's like a nightlight. Kind of keeps you going. I really want to save up for this... This bartering one. What's that going to give me? Oh, bigger fields. Um, I don't know. I wish it said... Oh, just some colonies. Place them on fertile soil. Grants extra production bonus. Keep an eye on that number. If it starts dipping, we'll make sure we go in and start putting another field in. It seems like those two tiny fields are are taking care of everyone. Odd fella at the gate. Doctor Wizard, M.D. Peculiar man approaches you, arms stretched out, and will advance for a handshake. Hello, hello. I'm back. He starts, or am I? Was I here before? Never mind. Dr. Wizard MD at service. He announces I can fix all ailments with my simple patent pending formula I brewed with science and magics. He claims to be able to cure all your colonists in an instant for no payment. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good idea. No, no, no thanks, buddy. No thanks. No, but it's clearly re carefully researched mixture of cornflower herbs and antelope. Antelope each with a pinch of crushed glowy rock. <laughs> I spared no expense developing it. Some people have no appreciation for science or magics. Bid you farewell and shuffles off into the wilderness. Okay. Yeah, keep those those rocks away, please. Hmm. I think we might have made a wise choice with that one. Okay, one more berry deposit gone. We'll have to make sure we adjust this. Can I make it any bigger? No. Can't get both of them. Um, yeah, go ahead and just take care of that one, and we'll move it. Well done. Good. I'm gonna try this one more time. I want you to kill the guy. Oh, there we go. That was a good one. That was real good. Okay, well, she's got this. Oh, she's got a headband on, and she's got a she's got a platypus on her head. Yeah, she's got it. She doesn't feel so good, but one more good punch to the face, and he'll be ours. She'll trust him. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. We've got one more day of this. Let me go ahead and yank this stuff out of the ground. Oh, oh you already are. Okay. Good. And then we're going to take someone off that and go back to... Uh... Oh, it doesn't look too bad. I'm just not paying attention to this. That's a little weird, but it's it's not too terrible. The two roads going this way. A lot of talking here and a lot of, not a lot of working going on. Who are you? Nora? What is this? Hmm? Sam? Sis. He's a bleeder. He's also a not worker. Occasionally dips in the most precious memories and feels hopeful once again. Well, that's nice. Uh, works harder than the average person. I don't know about that. Maybe he needs to go visit Nora in the uh, in the reproduction tent, which is what's going on over here. Camper. Make a couple more of those. Can I fit this in here? I uh, can't go there either because of that stuff. Over here where the privacy is. There we go. <laughs> Sam the leader. Uh, yeah, so it's sort of released. It's it's in early access. It's on Epic. Epic and... If, am I right saying this, this is on the Xbox store? The Microsoft store for the Xbox One? Okay, one big punch. Yeah, we got him. There you go. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, pick up the scraps. Are you done? Oh, you're too tired. Okay, that's 34 concrete for us. Perfect. We'll go to uh, scout this one out. We'll probably grab that and head back home. Before we go all the way out. Give me your bricks. People got 
sitting around. We got eight carriers. Okay, he's working fine. Um, and you know we can go build more things now. Let's do that. Let's go see what we can do. Um, we need to make clothing. Oh, tools is what we need. Someone was telling me this earlier. Tool shop. I don't get the blues going here. Something like right there. Fill up this roundabout here with all of our our shops. We need to we put more water towers in here. Did I leave a space in there? Is that what I did? I did two spaces. Can I fit another one in there? No, it's three. What I put it there for? Just scoot it over a little bit. We have all those. We don't have a tailor yet, which is I'm guessing it's gonna be a important before long because we're going to have coldness, I assume. Like that. Put a little road in there. Grab some clothing. And I'm a wandering merchant, I see. Uh, yeah, grab those. Perfect. Merchant! What was that? Oh, you again. Oh, what's this? Um, I got something special today for you. Uh, wonderful specimens of a humanity. How about we bought her, eh? Uh, if I give you 16 metal, you'll give me one carrot seed. Oh, you know what? I can do that. Yes. You mean I can make a, uh, I can make a carrot farm. Let's do a farm. Right next to this one. Samuel's infected. Taylor needs more planks, but working on it. Oh, here comes the bad news. Okay, go ahead and don't work there. Uh, it's green. It's green as well. It just looks like not a place I'd want to live. Hey, Turks of Decoration. <clears throat> <laughs> no, no, it's one carrot seed. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Uh -huh. Um, maybe we need. There's no one here though, so I guess it's fine. There's only 21 people in the place. It's not like we need 15 doctors or anything. Two's fine. And uh, Brooklyn's really good. Free mutation day. Yeah. <laughs> they really went overboard on the uh, on the look of the. <laughs> Like, don't go outside. Just, <laughs> just stay inside a while. Small field is done. No need to have any work on that one. Oh, that was Mason. Mason, get the work over here and get some more planks in here. You know, um, I've got how many? Eight free people. Why don't we go and do some more of this? I need uh, the sawmill working, and I think we're fine on the baby trees. There's a lot of You're the baby tree maker. I think it's probably okay. We'll see if we get behind. Then we'll put someone in there. Oh, you're happy, eh? You like the the green look to the world? Reminds you of home in your backyard, eh? People live in there. Yeah, you certainly can tell what's in fact. That's right. That's right. It's very over the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, is Brooklyn sick? Brooklyn! Brooklyn, get better. No, no, the truck stays. The truck stays. The truck is is a symbol of our colony. In, in fact, let's make it. Let's make it. Uh, can I use this? Planters, yeah, this is what we need. We need to make sure we honor this this thing. The um, what it deserves here. I can put it right. Oh yeah, here we go. All right. Um, put one there on the. Is that is that in the way of the road? Did I do that wrong? I want it fine right here, I guess. There we go. Put that road back. We can put some bushes around it. What else have we got? Oh, a brazier. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's real nice. Statue. How do we make this thing? 
30 metals. Alright, maybe not. Got some flowers around it. Oh, uh, yeah. This reminded me of last night's game. A couple things of flowers here. Over there, one over there, maybe. Let's put in some pink flowers. And, uh, it's a flower bush. How about, um, white flowers? Do we have any of those already? There we go. Three irradiated colonists. Yeah, you. Stop standing there. Need another lantern back here? I like those torches a little better. One there, one there. There we go. Okay, looking good. What do you want? Um, yeah, why don't you bring those back to me real quick. You grab the remaining two, but I'm not too concerned about it. Just run those back so we can get those in and get healed up while you're at it. And we've got three irradiated people. This is full. Getting traded, but very slowly. People are a little cranky. Fear of death, minus 189. Oh, a child was born? Where'd that happen? What? Did I miss that? Did I miss something? Uh, <laughs> hey, Natalie. How, how's it going? Uh -huh. Oh, you know, Hazel. <laughs> I, I can't sleep at night. Mm -hmm. It's so bright. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe we should build another one of these tents. Uh, where is it at? I'm just... It's kind of a waste because it's going to be... Uh, we're going to have just have... It's going to be gone, and then everyone will be fine. Let's put it right across the street here. Yeah. <laughs> she's pregnant. She's glowing. <laughs> Three kids. Where's the... Did, did we, uh... Did we see, um... Did anyone see a message for, uh... For a baby? Doesn't sound so good. Yeah, symmetry. That's what's going on here? We can double around here, but we can't because because I've I've built these in. Oh no, we could we could double road that, couldn't we? we? Could do a double road, not quite over here though. So it wouldn't be quite right. Only one more irradiated person. That's Abigail. No one really likes Abigail anyway, so it's okay. Irradiated means your infection is cured. Oh, okay. Leo, who are you? Fearful. There's something will awful will happen just like it did before. And he's also reckless. Fear of death minus seven. Eh, you're fine. There's no, there's no, we got food, we got water. You know, just a bunch of babies. I mean, look outside, it's beautiful. Hi there. <laughs> Hi, Brooklyn. She's a hermit. New survivor groups cause anxiety. And she's happy due to no new arrivals. <clears throat> well, you know. Being a child in this world isn't easy or fun. Make the best of it. Oh, it's a new Brooklyn. That one's gone now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Leo, what's wrong with you? That one's still got some stuff in it. Squareabouts. I like that. Hmm. Got three more radiated people. Uh, let's prioritize this. And let's go and get more wood, please. Are you Leo? Who are you? Leo, what are you doing out there? You're supposed to be chopping trees. What are you waiting out there for? Oh, Leo. A couple is arguing and they're quite loud about it. Oh boy, who is it? Children's rights. Couple uh, comes to you asking if the colony has any rules about parenting. The mother thinks children should be tasked with handling domestic work, while the father thinks children are too young and should be allowed to spend their days playing. Um, well, um, I clearly have a uh, an opinion on this. Um, plan to have the kid children educated. 
no. Ignore the dispute. Um, clearly, they should be out working. What are they going to be doing? They're just sitting around doing nothing? Playing? No, it's called playing. Hauling the logs from the stockpile to the... To the, um... From the... Yeah, you know what I mean. I feel like it's important to have everyone help the colony, including children. It's unfortunate that they need to put, put to work, given how hard the parents are already working. Not unreasonable to expect children to help any way they can. Yeah, you know. Where's that little one? Hi. Oh, now I feel bad. She's got... She's irradiated now. Brooklyn, um... Do you feel better when you put in a good day's work? <laughs> does that give me... Does that give me colonists? That doesn't... Is that, that's not like Frostpunk style, is it? I don't have like... Maybe. Maybe she'll just help carry things around. Hey, Abigail. How are you? Has to be everywhere. Be first everywhere, best at everything, or at least the fastest. That's the spirit. She must be Brooklyn's daughter. We'll be short on here. Short on those planks. I have no planks. I almost need to have another one of these just to bring in we well, you know what we could actually do we could adjust this i want you we have concrete now let's go and just get some planks there was one close by wasn't there? right here just come in here and just grab planks they're real close by everyone working here bring as many as you can You may not feel good because of the radiation, but that extra foot will pay off in the long run. <laughs> Next thing you know, be asking for wages. Outrageous! Outrageous! They work for the for the fun of it. Abigail's now an adult. Hey, Abigail. Not as cute as you were whenever you were tiny, but uh, I'm glad to see you working. No, it's not you. You're in there sleeping. Get back to work. And this fallout's never going to end. Let's crank it up. No one's sick right now. Well, I mean, we all have radiation sickness. And I guess that's getting taken care of. His health is going down. How do you feel? 37. Avery. Iodine pills will be... I don't have iodine pills. Hmm. You make me some tools? <laughs> Pay them in green stones. <laughs> oh, are you back? What do you do? Are you ready to go work? Oh, you still, is it, oh, she's probably not moving until she gets healed all the way. She's up halfway now. Oh, everyone's green. Everyone's glowing now. Wood. No things in yet. Lots of firewood. It's getting kind of rough. Good thing the torches are done. Hey! All right! All right. All right. And she's all ready, and she's back and ready to kill things. She's mostly good. Um, let's go and get... We still have plenty of... Well, we are just a little lower. We'll get that field made. Which I think we did. We can just... We just gotta get it planted. She still has zero. She's just ready to go, I guess, eventually. Um, so I want to make sure this one is growing... Can I click? Click? Can't click. Back in the colony. Click. 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 And, um, um, I don't have any controls. Um, hmm. I seem to have found a bug. Uh, <laughs> let's try, uh, I can't save. Um, Maybe come here. And, there we go. Save game. Okay. Okay. Try this out again. Um, this one. Open that epic store. Um, there. Try that again. Yeah, it's super cheap. It's a lot cheaper than I would assume it would be. 
uh, for a, uh, a Paradox game like this. <clears throat> Salvage for medication. So that we have to go out in the world and, and find those. We at, what are we at? Um, what's eighty plus? Oh, I think we. I think my last, like my um, most viewers I've had in the live stream. What? Wait. Um, it was 737, so I think we just broke it. Number of folks in the stream. Welcome, folks. Uh, yeah, I, that was, I read this big article about, like, um, there we go. About, like, why they did a, a Epic and all that, and I guess the, they're doing a year of early access, and I guess it can be cheaper because of Epic basically paying for the development of it, essentially. From what I understand. Sounds like things are happening in the background, but clearly nothing's happening. Let me, uh... Try this one more time. One more time. Okay. No, no zombies. No zombies, just, uh... Just meteors and and fallout and heat waves. Oh, poor David. Okay, no clicking off the screen. Just let it be. Everyone say your say your uh, prayers to Antinti. Yeah, you know if if uh, Paradox does their usual thing and sticks with it and does all the uh, DLC along with it, it could be with the DLC it could be really good. It's, I'm enjoying it so far. Well, I say that. We're gonna let it just let it sit for a moment. Well, hopefully it loads. <laughs> I was gonna play Zomboid tonight until I remembered I had this game. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, but Zomboid, I guess, I guess just a few days ago they made it to where Project Zomboid's, um, the alpha, of the build 41 is, is up now. <laughs> Got that early access radiation. <laughs> let's try, uh, let's try the, uh, the auto, auto save. Yeah, on the beta branch. But they change on Zomboid? A lot of new things. <laughs> yeah, I will back up, back up my save version. Yeah, that's it. Alright, um, we'll try this one. Come on, game, don't fail me. I want to play more. Thanks, Space. <laughs> I guess it's uh, it's break time for a moment. <clears throat> oh, 
hey, all right. Okay, where are we at? Uh, I think we're just right where we left off, pretty much, except for the fallout. Um, oh, I guess we're a little bit behind. We have to build these these things still. Um, she's still here, so not too far behind. Okay, no big deal. Nothing happened before then. We just got extra workers there. We need to get more planks going. Did I adjust this yet? No. So let's go do that. We have the concrete. We won the battle. Let's grab these two work zones there. Get more wood in here. Yeah, we're just a little bit behind. I do need some tools. Maybe we should set someone up. Only seven metals, though. Let me give... Let me give you another worker. And then I'm going to give you another... Uh, we'll just do that for now. Yeah, let me know if it looks if it looks smooth on stream. Oh, I got a new, a new pop-up. Okay, this is different. Down the river. They have gotten curious by nearby river and they want to see what it's like for traveling. Managed to build a raft. We've seen this before. Uh, yeah, go do it. They return. They come back empty-handed. Boat sunk halfway through. They're unable to rescue their equipment. At least they're not dead. If you're hearing voices from nearby woods, they decided to flee instead of diving after the sunken vessel. Okay. We'll put this as top priority. So if we get those planks in, we can get that made so we, people won't be dying so much. Stream good? Okay. Is there a lot of um, artifacting whenever I spin? I've been trying to set up my tweak some of my settings. Some of the games that are a little bit more graphics intensive are uh, a little ugly sometimes, I notice. In the replays. Uh, I have a lot of firewood. Plenty of firewood. Abigail's now an adult. Alright, hey Abigail. Welcome to adulthood again. No artifact. Good, good. Tools are low. But we're slowly getting them in. We're now we're getting metal in here a little more. People are heading for the shack. She is in here getting fixed up. Okay. She'll be out ready to go in just a moment. We can head back up. Uh, maybe get some food. Once the... I think once the um, waste is gone and we get carrots coming in, that might fix our food problem. Over there. I believe I'm pretty sure you can get attacked by by bandits. I would, I I well I'm saying that I assume so. Surely. Okay, there's done. Make up some clothes. Uh, I'm there's no marker for seasons, but I'm sh I'm guessing. Let's grab the Armageddon. Any notes here? Given three groups refuge. Adults, two kids. Oh, we haven't had a baby born yet. Or maybe we have, because Abigail grew up. One boxes. Water bounce is good. Plenty of water in the uh, in the hold, which is all radiated now. Technically, just happens through the pop-up events. Uh, okay. Oh, you know what? That's what's breaking my game. Here, then go back in. All good now? Everybody good? Okay, good. Okay, all good now. Um, well, you'll go for a map whenever you're ready. You're not actually ready for a map tour yet. Oh, we break it again? Hang on. They're moving for a second. Let me move you, move you, uh, there. Uh oh uh oh I think, I think we might be broken. Yeah. I think we're done for. 
can move my map. Hmm? Finished, eh? <laughs> Too much nuclear fall. Yeah, that's what, that's what it is. Let me go into like a... Um... Oh yeah, these aren't going to open. Run, buddy, run. Run. Yeah, I think we might be done for this one. Avery died. Oh, Avery. Yeah, we're uh we're officially broken. So, I mean, I guess this is this is day 2 of early access. So, I guess we can forgive him for that. Child, let's see if we can get some new pop-ups here. Maybe it'll fix things. I know people are dying. Try to see if we can just... Maybe if we pop out here. And... Nope, I'm stuck in this menu now. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's done. It's done. Done for. Clearly, it's so broken because of the epic story, right? So you're right. You're right. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I guess that ends uh, that game. Um, so, oh, 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 maybe. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's a uh... child pleads for attention. That sounds like a scary one. Ooh, look at that. It's getting freakier. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what do you want? Um, a child and slash woman approach the gate. Can you have some medicine? Um, oh, are you missing? Can you eat some cabbage seeds? Sure, if it works. Okay. Go away. Okay. Okay. It is a very cool game so far. Idea of a game. Um, I like it. I'm eager to see where they go with it. Of course, I like any CD better, really. As soon as I can, I will quit. And I suppose... We can try out... Man, I'm playing this, um... So...